45. So we have a sector, AOB, with the angle of the sector being 60 degrees and the radius of the sector is OB is R units length. R units long, sorry. All right, so what do they want us to calculate? Oh, the length of the arc AB is. All right, so there's a formula on the formula sheet. It should go like this. Theta, if you want to find the arc length, I want to change that into an A. So arc length is going to be theta, the acute angle, the angle of the sector over 360 degrees. The 360 fits if it were a complete um, circle, right? Because the sector is part of a, a circle as you go all the way around. It's part of a circle. Okay, so it's theta over 360 times. Um, arc length is part of, the arc is part of the circumference. So looking at this arc here, from going from A to B, this is part of the circumference that goes all the way around. But we only want that portion from A to B. But going all the way around is going to be um, 2 pi r. All right, but we only want a fraction of it in which we call arc. So that's the reason why we find a fraction by using theta out of 360 to get it as a fraction. So that's 60 out of 360 times 2 pi r. No, they did not give us the measure for r. And we're not going to convert pi, obviously not, because it's, it's obviously this is a... Now, 60 goes into, into 360 six times, right? Um, we have 2 pi r here. Now, we can say 2 into 2 goes once, and 2 goes into 6. So that's numerator with denominator goes 3 times. So that's 1 third pi r. Now, I think our answer should look something like that, 1 third pi r, and that's a. Now, how did I get the 1 6? You might be wondering. So 60 out of 360, divided by 10. Now, 66 goes once, and 6 and 36 goes 6 times. So that's how we got the 1 6. All right, let's look at another question.